They come in all colors but have green in common. Today, a dozen clean energy hydrogen vehicles rolled into the Connecticut Center for Advanced Technology in East Hartford for a car tour like no other. It's a collaboration between government agencies and car manufacturers. And as Fox 61's Jim Altman reports, with fuel cell makers right here in Connecticut, it could be a powerful energizer for our local economy. There's nothing like blowing off a little steam on the highway, which is essentially what this car is doing. As oil prices go up and uh, gasoline becomes more and more scarce, I mean, you got to turn to something else. If you remember Earth science, hydrogen gets top billing on the periodic table and top billing in East Hartford today. All the cars here are powered by Earth's most abundant element. What we have here is about nine different auto manufacturers showcasing their cars as we drive throughout the U.S. Some cars here run on hydrogen fuel cells, some on internal combustion engines. BMW's Jason Perrin let us take out the zero emission hydrogen set. I just switched to hydrogen. We're running on hydrogen. We're running on hydrogen. It says H2 in the display. Uh-huh. And that tells so you this is going to blow up like the Hindenburg, is it? Well, the Hindenburg was a long time ago, and they didn't have safety belts back then. The jury is still out, but engineers here say clean hydrogen is now as safe to operate as gas. And no doubt you've got to love a car where you can actually drink the emissions. It's not bad. Hot, but not bad. <laughs> it's water vapor that comes out of the tailpipe. We actually had the water recently tested, and it meets all EPA standards for drinking water. And technology like this continues to fuel the debate for change. Given the state of things around the world and the economy and uh, the uh, scarcity of oil and all the concerns about the carbon footprint, what better way to take a bold step into the future for the state of Connecticut and this great country of ours? And this proves that the technology is there. We just need to accept it and adopt it. In East Hartford, Jim Altman. Fox 61, News at 10. Of course, building the infrastructure to support hydrogen vehicles, that's the toughest task. Right now, there are only about 30 stations across the country where you can fill up with hydrogen. Well, this tour will visit 18 states in two weeks and end up in Los Angeles. You can learn more about it on the links page of our website, fox61.com.